is the guest? Okay, I'm ready to go once you enter. As a child, you were feminine as a child. From when I was born? When you were born, it didn't build. Yeah, obviously you were bullied for that as a child. Yes, I was, actually I was bullied, but I watched movie a lot. So anytime I watch movie, I kind of attach to myself to the hero. The hero are mostly the girls. I don't do boys. I don't really believe in that. So I attach myself to their story. I be in their shoes and I see how they bully, how they retaliate, how they, you know, movie changed my life basically. So by the time I come real life, I manifest this this scene into my life and then heart it even though even though i don't know how to fight that much but my mother was bad enough to beat people, <laughs> to beat people and yeah. i was I, I was feminine and smart and then intelligent to attract people that can support, protect me like teachers principals being the assistant head boy and so many other things you're an assistant head boy <laughs> yes <laughs> people call me head case. <laughs> Right. Yes, so the I intelligence was. and the boldness and the smartness attracted That's right. Exactly. exactly. And because I was very manipulative with words, that's why I was able to attract a lot of people to my life. James says, during his childhood, her father wasn't present in her life because he was denied entry into her life till she was 14 when she met him passing by. Brown had earlier narrated how her grandmother nurtured her after her mother rejected her a few days after her birth. Your dad, so what happened when you were young, he, he left? The thing is, not like my dad left. My dad and my mom had an issue. Yeah. So it was in between them. I don't even know, okay, right? And I haven't given me the full gist of it. Okay. So it was in between them. So the thing is, they were engaged. But my dad wasn't ready for the first child. Okay. So my mom was, wasn't ready to, so my mom, dad, thrown her out of the house. So she went to her mom's place, which is my grandma. Mm -hmm. And then, the, the, at some point, she just gave it to me and gave it to my grandma. My grandma was taking care of me. But at some point, my dad was trying to reach out, but they declined because she didn't accept from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So that was caused the bleach of it. Uh, and yeah, I fell in my life. Okay, right. So, so he was not part of your life growing up? He wasn't. wasn't. Up until what year? Um, up until before I, uh, 14. 14. I got to meet him in 14. He and reached then out? They reached, no, he was passing by. And then they introduced me to him, and then that's how we became friends. Your dad but, was. Okay, but what? But, but when he was first, but they didn't really introduce, they just said that your dad and I went to go and meet him and then we we'll talked, but we were not really that close because mm -hmm. my mom didn't, my family, my grandma didn't believe in people. Maybe there are people who use them to money rich or something. That was their beliefs. Mm -hmm. So it, the beliefs really affected me because I was really running Stay away. away from him. But one, after you know, I was in a big polygamy and which he found out that I was, they would treat me to do that. So I continued for him to like take me over. Ah, yeah. right, right. Well, when you were going to throw you out of the house, yeah. so you how old then, like 16? I was 16, but 16. I actually went out for six, right. for six months. I was suffering out there right. before you reached out to me, like, yeah, come so in. So you heard and he reached out to you? Yeah. So that's why you have strong, good feelings towards him, because he stepped in where you needed Yeah. Can you talk about him? That six months changed, destroyed my life. That six months destroyed your life? What yeah, there's some things I am not proud of, that I can't even see in the camera, that I have done. Right. Again, so that six months really changed my life for good. Do you know that's someone like a good day? We did a second. Yeah. Okay, so, so um, I don't blame him per se, but I just don't, I don't think I can really give them any um, accolade or something. Mm -hmm. They did nothing. So, mm -hmm. But they're just there. As soon as it's there, mm -hmm. it's there. So mm -hmm. that's the job. It's just with there. So even when, because on Mother's Day, you, you did that message that praise yeah. your grandmother. Yeah, I praise. I mean, if it wasn't my grandmother, I think I would have died. Because from the story my grandma told me, mm -hmm. when she gave me to me, she carried me and put me in the dustbin. Your mother put you in the dustbin? That's what she told me. My mommy didn't defend that. You see, I'm so fucking what? So, I've heard the story like a hundred times, so I'm not even shocked again. So it's not more thing. I'm not ashamed to be very to anybody if you like you to insult me. The thing is, I am now big to the thing that yeah. this family are literally begging for me. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I don't like fake love. She has just forgive him, forgive her. I have forgiven her, but I cannot vibe with you. Don't you get it? All that is, all that is, I cannot vibe. It's not the vibe is not coming. Nothing is happening. Yeah. So it's not my fault, yeah. is it? Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I've, funny enough, I forgive me here for us. Uh, when did I talk to her? I think three years ago I talked to her because she was looking for my sister. My sister was far gone, and I was also looking for my sister. So I called her to ask her, "How are you doing?" And she was like, asking my sister, and I'm like. But I call you to actually do it. Be nice about me. Yeah. So, that woman is, I don't know. I don't really like talking about her because yeah. it just touches some emotion I don't want to get to. Yeah. 
You know, I want to, you know, I want to play, I know that you've gone past this, but I want to play that, your famous video. Then really? I want to play it, just for you to watch. Freedom of speech, guys, let me talk. Uh, I can easily die for many names from now. If I'm an HIV person, they don't even care about it. And they say they are doing investigation. I'm not a gay. What's your name? My name is Obi Lord James. How many years is it written there? This is three years. Three years. I was telling you that I've been popular for just three years. Just three years. Three years. So we're going to talk about that. But the first thing is, I remember watching that video. I remember watching that video. This, this video was when I became your fan. You know, really? That was when I became your fan. I thought instantly. That was it. I thought Nigeria intimidates you. Nigeria silences, bullies people. Oh no more. That's what they do. But then you were caught by the police. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew you. Yeah. No godfather. Mm -hmm. No friends. Mm -hmm. No money. Mm -hmm. No nothing. Yet you looked at them and said essentially, "Fuck off." Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where does that kind of courage in Nigeria came from? Come from my story. Mm. Now the thing is, yeah, people think there's this. Um, there was something I hold up to that time. The thing yes. is, there was nothing. I could sense it. The thing is, I was. I've just been so, like you know when you have suffered so much mm. in the past, mm. and then you're like, <laughs> what the what worst, worst prison. Ugh. Like I was just ready, yeah. Because normally, yeah, I grew up in the in the first in the kind of not first, the kind of um, I wasn't accepted right. because of the standing between my dad and my mom. Um, so it affected my life. Um, I end up being my auntie. I still my auntie, mm -hmm. and then my auntie was taking care of me, all the stuff. So literally, I was a houseboy from eight years to sixteen years. So imagine when you're a houseboy like that, what you pass through. Even my auntie bites my eye. What you pass through like I passed through a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I was trying to react as a sustain and say fit for myself. Yeah. So is it that one? I have gotten family that really traumatized me naturally. It's not people that I don't know how will traumatize me. Why I don't even know your father or your mother? Come on. Did they cut me? Did they cut me? Ask the policeman, did they cut me? Funny enough, yeah, I've never been really judged by my family because they didn't have, they didn't really care. Ah. Because um, they were all educated, so they didn't really have issue. Right. But the education didn't work. It didn't work in my side where the family was an issue. But the thing is that training their children was a problem, or training someone's children was an issue. Like example, my mom and dad, I didn't grow up with my mom and dad, so I ended up with my, with my grandma. Mm -hmm. My grandma, I moved to my auntie's place because my grandma didn't have enough capital to take care of me. Mm -hmm. So my auntie had all the money she could. She has a good woman. She mm -hmm. was a trader. She traded at a boundary market. So. Being under her from the beginning when I was six, I was enjoying. Mm -hmm. But from eight, then she conceived her first child. My life changed. Um. So she, according to her, if you ask her, she was training me. But the training was bad. Like it was literally a like, consuming. She reminded me I'm a bastard. Uh. I was doing my mistake. You know when you wake up in the morning like, oh no, you blue kwabo she, alaye bande. This is how Yoruba basically do. Basically, not all Yoruba per se, yeah, but, but most, the, mostly the, the people who are like exactly. So. If I break any cup, uh, she will use that cup, she will insult me, almost use that cup to flog me, because she will be so angry. If I watch the play, the play is all, all the name of training. So, to me, I was, I, I was, it was everything about me was hard, hard on me. Yeah. Like, literally, yeah, I want, I, I, one thing that I'm not really comfortable with is my body, exposing my body in the public, because mm. I have so much mark in my body, literally. Mm. I'm still walking like this. Cars are so much from but that the, beating. From that beating, the, sometimes they will beat me wire, and they use paper to co cover yeah, up. Okay. Sometimes, like literally every time. And then at some point, I even got if you beat me, I don't even feel it again. I got so much energy for me that I don't even care. And like, so that really traumatized me. Even the beating wasn't really traumatizing. It was the fact that my auntie keep telling me those words. Mm. So literally in my mind, I'm like, she made my mistake. So whatever happened, happened. That's why even one of the reasons I'm like, <laughs> you're looking for somebody. There's nobody I'm attached to. I'm like, oh, I'm going to make someone sad, make someone. The reason I attached to my dad at that point, and I wasn't, we just getting to know each other, as I say. Mm -hmm. And we were just like, okay, we spent like four to four years together because I left home around 16 and then yeah, came into my life, obviously, after a while. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, we're not, we're not, we didn't grow up together. Not like I was out of father, Africa, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. So later on, That's it came to my, from, to my life. And because of the Yoruba and the Igbo ethnic that now allowed this thing to. So it really affects me a lot. Yeah. Right, it affected you. Yeah. So, so wait, so she had her child when mm -hmm. you were around eight. 
-hmm. And then, so why did, why did her child make her change towards you? Did she not feel like, oh, now I have my own, I cannot waste the energy on? I think from the beginning, she was praying for a child. Uh, yes. And then she got a child. So it's like she doesn't need you anymore? She doesn't need me to take care of the house. That was... So she just switched? It was literally like in a movie. Switch and it was so painful because I, I I was get, I was going to love her I was I was going yeah. to um, see her as a mother figure yeah. but it just happened. Let's talk about um, 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 the, the you call them the the runway fifty seven I think. Uh, it's not me. That someone called them. Uh, oh, oh, I know that. <laughs> but you, when you came out, that video you did after the court. That's when I heard you say it the first time. <laughs> Uh, wrong, uh, 57 runway 57 model. 57 runway model. Yeah. This could be a better 57. Yeah, but now it's 57. It's, so it's posh. It's posh. I'm making it so. Yeah. So one of them is still my friend. Really? His name is Yinka. Like Yinkosh. Yeah, yeah, still my friend. It's very successful what you're doing. 57 young, 57 young and old men arrested by the Nigerian. I'm not sure. That, I think the, the list of the ages is 35. Oh, so they were all old. Okay. They were young. Was it really all young? Was no so the oldest was 35, is that what you mean? That was the oldest, yes. It's so they're all young. All young. Right? Yeah. 57 people arrested by Nigerian police for initiation into homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. I mean, if, I'm sure if foreign people read it, they'll just laugh at it's us. It's just ridiculous. Because they don't initiate for okay? Yes. There's literally never, and if you're watching this and you don't understand anything, literally, they, one thing you should know, don't ever say it out there that they initiate me to gay. People, you will be laughed at and feel like a fool because we know your country, your country is a lot of. <laughs> this wrote, whoever wrote that thing, yeah. the person is a dumb it's ass. I, I don't care who you are, you're dumb. Because at least you'd have just, even though you want to, I don't care about me, I don't care. At least you'd have made Nigeria look respectful. Mm -hmm. Initiation. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. That's, no. Yeah. To give. But what I want to ask is, out of that 57, mm -hmm. you are the only one that became not just a star. Not, I'm telling An you. Icon. No, but you know, this is not, you know, people say, you know, people are going to come to my comment section and say, you've become iconic. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I am. Yes. Could you have imagined it? Mm. Could you have imagined being this? Yes. Yeah. But not a drag queen. Right. Never a drag queen. I've always worn dresses, but never imagine me expressing them this way. So I wanted to be. I keep saying actor, actor. Yeah. She gets so never, never like this, mm -hmm. man. But I knew I was because every time when my auntie suffer me, I go to the backyard. I watch at the moon. Do it like they watch moon. All those listen to watch moon. I'm like, God, I'll be praying every day. Make me a star. Take me from here. I, like literally. So I, I wish I make a lot of wish back then. So most of the wishes are actually coming to pass. I, it's actually ironic. Yeah. It's yeah. Do you I, do you like being a drag queen? I love it. Like some of I love it. It's my life, <laughs> literally. Yeah. It's like I can fight for it any time, any day. Yeah. You spent one month in prison. Mm -hmm. That was an ikoyi. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Hell, on hell. It's really as people say. It. Yes. So most times, yeah, people don't really. The thing about is about Nigeria is the fact that nobody really knows what I passed through. They just want to see the glamour. That is why I told myself, coming to this UK, I want to do something. Actually, I've always wanted to write a book in my life. I've always wanted to write a book. Mm -hmm. And then coming to the UK, just a life And I wrote a book. And literally, I wrote everything about my life. Because nobody wants to know about these things. And in Ikoyi, I carry shit. As you are coming into that Ikoyi, they are beating you. They are slapping you. That is very convincing. They will, you will sit down with your leg. They will chuck you, chuck you, chuck you to get down. You will call your family, they will, you probably pay for a card for that day. Then you move to the Jankara. That Jankara, there's Jankara, there's VIP, there's VIP, there's regular in prison. Prison in other world, yo. If you're living in UK, you're enjoying. If you're living in Nigeria, you're enjoying. If you're living in prison, it's another world entirely. It's like you're in another universe. There's market in that prison. People sell Indomie, rice, jollof rice, white rice. I am the most, like these are all prisoners selling for themselves. Yeah, yeah. There's buying and selling, there's politician in the prison, there's head of prison that if you are passing, you have to be running away from. Mm -hmm. There's people that you are scared of. Mm -hmm. And these people are murderers. And like, oh God. Oh mm -hmm. I have seen. Yeah. <laughs> are you worried about this um, anti-cross-dressing bill? 
I'm not worried. I'm not really worried because it doesn't apply to me. Like I say, I'm a drag queen. And then besides, I'm in UK. Mm-hmm. So um, it doesn't, I don't feel like there's a... Because the thing is, I don't want to really go in deep. Okay. But I would like to just make a phrase of it. Um, I know the government don't really understand. Or I don't, I don't know what they're trying to play at. But since they have put the gay she, the gay 14 years in prison up, they have never successfully arrested anybody in 14 years in prison. I mean, I went to the prison, I see not, nobody there. I want to really ask why haven't they put anybody since then time. I will say there's no gay in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh wow, you have successfully not bring anybody to kneel down to 14 years in prison team now. Mm. You're telling me you have not seen anybody. <laughs> I'm on now, wow. And Twitter is there, you're not saying anything. No problem. <laughs> no issues. And then you want to call congestors. They cannot do anything about the congestors. They can pick it out. They can actually. Because, if you know, anything possible in Nigeria. Mm. But at the same time, Nigeria also wants their partnership with the UK and US to be tarnished. Mm. So they have to play careful. Mm. Mm. Because these people are watching. <laughs> I went to school. How I knew UK is watching Nigeria mm-hmm. closely is because when I went to school, the dean, like the counselor, mm-hmm. because it's called counselor here, yeah. it's not like principal, they're called counselor. The counselor invited me the second day of my school. Mm-hmm. Imagine a whole university, the counselor invited you to know me and tell me they want to work with me, like literally. And then when I was talking about something, mm-hmm. I was shocked, you guys. You get, I'm like, so Nigeria. These counselors, these people in school, they mm. knew my story. They are following me back to back. Mm. They mm. want to arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. Mm. <laughs> so you did you are you enjoying did you enjoy, are you enjoying the school? <sighs> I love the school. I actually do love the school. Love, right. What do you school has so much location? <laughs> So much what? Location, like right. literally, this is yeah. called university. <laughs> <laughs> Government should just please improve Nigeria. I was so proud. Right. This school is so much good. Mm-hmm. The teachers are very friendly. Like, if you know your work, because you know your I've been doing your homework. They don't want to have a celebrity or whatever. They literally care about, about the you. students. They do. They care about you and they give you classwork. If you don't understand, they explain to you over and over again. I'm like, ah. They're teaching, I see they're teaching class. God, I'm like, it's so good. Mm. And they don't want any form of respect, like Massa, no. Call them by their names. Mm. And they're very communicating. They ask me, sorry, James, oh, what do you like your pronouns are? Like, literally. And they mistakenly laugh about, oh, James, I walk this way. You don't have to talk or anybody. So it's literally a lovely, it's a school where everybody should be, just as it's quite expensive. Yeah. The feud between Nigerian crossdressers Bob Risky and James Brown, which started shortly after James Brown moved to London, has continued to trend. Bob Risky got on an interview with Daddy Freeze on Insta Story. During the interview, he stated boldly that he made James Brown and recounted how he invited him to his house, gave him money, and posted him on social media. When you announced that you were in London, mm-hmm. internet collapsed in Nigeria. I knew they would collapse, yeah. <laughs> but that's why the day I went, I arrived at Jimmy Post, the same day, second day I posted. Mm. Yes, second day, third day. The I second day. I knew it would go viral. But the thing is, I wasn't, I just came from my own personal self. I yeah. wasn't after the old cloud. But you knew it was going to go viral now. Because it was a big deal for them. Like, you know why? Because I knew it would go viral because they see me as trash. Mm. People, like, you know, I came out, I came out, they didn't cut me, I arrested. I'm a celebrity in Nigeria, I came out that way. Nobody, that's why I said that I'm not in anybody's level. Like, literally, I bought myself from, that's why when people try to compare me with my counterpart, I'm really getting angry. You know why? He didn't go to prison. Mm. He should Which? go to prison. No, like, people that help him in the industry should not help him. Let's see if he to survive him. I built myself by myself with my own money. My own sweat, nobody, literally nobody. And there's someone who sent to me with it. Somebody that he had everything at his back to call. Everybody's calling him to help you. Everybody giving you clothes to wear. Jesus Christ, I pay for everything I get. I pay for it with sweat and blood. So when they, they, the one even said, the person said that you see, I made him like, mm. I didn't want to go deep because I was so angry. I was okay, I was I was so busy with my reports. I had to write one thousand words. So I have no time to start <laughs> replying. That's what he said. So this is first of all. I know you are saying this person, this is Bob Risky. 
Yes, yeah, Bobrisky, yes, obviously. It's your friend now. <laughs> I just introduced you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you said when they said, oh, you said, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very busy writing my report. Actually, yes, I was having, see, the report, I was also putting take on this, so I can't waste my time with Bobrisky while I have to submit my report. If I don't submit my report to affect my visa, I know I don't want to affect any visa. I have to focus on school, yeah. so I usually focus on school. So the thing is, is, he said I made James Brown. I've never really touched on that, and I want to really tell him you never really made me. Your under kid did nothing. Your under kid just paid the debt I owe. Why my daddy was trying to pay my, my my money out of the prison, which is one point one million naira. I just have to like pay him my dad. So he, he did nothing. Mm -hmm. So if you want the under kid, I can give him tenfold right now. I am grateful, but do not open your mouth because you gave me under in public. Do you know what other, other people did? Maybe they did something that I said I should not say outside in public, and I won't say it because it's I promise. It did so many things behind the scenes that it got to me just after three years. Hey, darling, it's your girl, James Brown, the princess of Africa. So today, class is going to teach you how to speak good England English. So most of you, yeah, most of you get to say, Say things that soon she will say. Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! That's my hunt children. No, me or solo. No! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, today I'm teaching you how to speak British. It's called British. Nikini. Go there! Go there! Go there! There go! Go there! Go there! These are things you say where you are with children. Sit down there! Sit down! Sit down! Sit down there, most so now. Guys, I think I need to learn my English very well. Which ones are your pronouns? Ah, not for nothing, man. It's still a big game now. Because, yeah, back in Nigeria. I would like to call as a girl, as a boy. But the thing is, at home, I don't dress like a girl. I just dress normal like a guy. That's in your house. As in the house, sometimes I go to school, I don't stroke because come here, we carry me. You get just, I just, I'm just free, loving. Mm -hmm. But in uh, being in the UK, I just want to be a princess. Literally. But in Nigeria, I can't be other princess, princess, because I need the country I'm from. And then, but. That's why I say people should call me her, but it doesn't mean that I've changed anything in my body. We also call me her first. You're <laughs> <laughs> calling me the her. Just so start with don't the her. <laughs> Let's start with the her. Yes. We'll get there one day. One day, yeah. I don't know. The thing is, I don't even know what the future holds for me. Because yeah. it is, are you going to be a child? I don't know. Mm. I don't want to push your hopes up. I don't want to feel like. I don't want to blab on things I'm not doing. You're just living your life. I'm one just day living this life. That, see, that gender thing, yeah. I'm just leaving it small. Let's be looking. Mm. It depends. It depends maybe I find a partner or I see something or something trigger me. All right now, not that I speak anything, it's still the same. Just as I'm just crazy about the whole idea. I have to make sure that I just have to be the other world. And I don't put that I won't be free. Mm -hmm. What's your big vision? Where is all of this going if you had the power to decree it? Hmm. Actually, my big vision after I become what this want to become. Mm -hmm. It's to pick people from the from the road mm. and change their life. Mm. I just want to adopt like at least five money, enough money, not like enough money, money. You know, money is different from money. <laughs> <laughs> money, so money is different from money. money. <laughs> so when I have money, <laughs> <laughs> my dream is at least um, adopt at least twenty people, right. twenty children. Because I was once in the street that back then, I mm. passed really hard. I don't want to pass it through that same thing. Mm. I don't want to. That, yeah. that really tells a lot in my life, literally. So, yeah. I don't want to. And yeah. if I say, maybe this is going to be my answer to the truth. If I say someone like that, so I'll pick it. Because pick. literally, I don't want those things happening. Yeah. I don't. Like, those are my dreams. Helping people, changing their life, building an empire. Forget about the empire. Helping people, actually. That's one of the great. Because I, I, there are so many dreams right out there. Mm. So many James, so many Browns, so many princesses, mm. so many princes of Africa out there that are suffering and they might be listening now. I, I know I'm not there physically, but I'm there spiritually. Mm. Call mm. my name, maybe I will listen. Remember, mm. have, God should just bring me to your side, at least I can change your life. I just wished. Because I have so many. I don't want people to suffer like me. I don't oh. want people to buy too much ash just because I want to 
achieve so many things. Literally, why? Yeah. That one that I do not want that at all for anybody. Because not, not everybody, like you said, see what I have passed through and then I'm just, will so they would it. have collapsed from it, completely destroyed themselves, yes. If you talk about the the parent drama yeah. one, yeah. talk about your auntie experience one, yeah. talk about the prison, like there's so much faces. Talk about the way Bobrisky come me, go, 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 go. I would have collapsed. No. It's God, actually. It's God. It's God. I'm a destiny child. Mm-hmm. Imagine person on this thing, I'm still like this. Uh uh-uh. uh. And I'm still surviving. I'm making it. Uh uh-uh. it's obvious. Mm-hmm. That obviously you know, see, but when I see it. I'm a destiny, should be should be I'm a destiny child. I'm the <laughs> I'm the next queen of Africa, just in case you want to. I'm collecting the crown. He has given it to me, but I said no I won't. Just keep it first as well. When I'm ready, I'll collect from your hand. Just hold on to hold it. Hold on first. to it. Go. You want to punch a <laughs> you will swallow I need you will swallow the crown and wear it. <laughs> yes. I love yes. it. I love Why it. I come and say Duchess of London? Because um, I'm representing Nigeria and UK. Right, so that's why you say you are the Duchess of London. Of London. So I'm representing Nigeria. So if you're seeing me, you see Nigeria. But mm. don't just that I'm open minded, I'm smarter than most Nigeria. Actually out of Nigerian out of Nigerians. Um, if you're talking about youth and but well, now they love me, so there's no problem. People that dislike me, I'm sure that most of it, most people say, even some businessman that has millions, I'm sure that them because for them to be like, ah, oh, now nah, it has sense now. Nah. Before I don't get sense, <laughs> as a business person, as a, as a someone that is rich, as someone that is, has the money, they have an inspiration, they have an aspiring life, you should see beyond what they are doing. Mm. Like when I see you, I see beyond you, I see your dreams and goals, and I want to connect with it, and I want to make money from it. Now, lie. They just see this and that, this, that, this. Keep saying that. Keep going. Uh, keep saying that. Keep so saying I that. Yeah. There's more to come. Uh, There's mm. more to come. Like the most popular people are from 18 to 25, 30. That's actually true, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then they look up to me like crazy. I'm like, if I can't try, I don't want to, because I noticed that my counterpart did a lot of impressive. Help have gone wrong, man. So I want to make my contact. And then I don't want to do that. I do not want to impress you. You do I not do want know, to. I do not want to impress you. I do not give a fuck about you what you're expecting. I don't care about what you think you expect from me. I do. I can see. I can somebody tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. Mm. I don't mm. because I'm still living my life. I'm a human being. I'm allowed to get, make mistakes. I'm allowed to make dreams. I'm allowed to do anything I want to do. Because I'm a social media figure. I have to. No, no, please. I can't leave this thing because you feel like you feel like let me my fan. Let me my fan. I will be as real as I have been, mm. and you have to follow it on that. Because I'm one of the, the I'm one of the most bullied in Nigeria, mm. and then I survived from prison to mm-mm. watch online, and then you learn a lot. You learn a lot, and you survive. If I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. Thank you, James. You're welcome. This has completely been worth waiting for. We've been trying <laughs> to do this for a while. Yeah. Uh, but thank God we didn't, we didn't do it then because this yeah. was this was the best time to do. I think so. Yeah. I think so. But <laughs> there's so much to say. I'm so much proud. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. I had a bad life. Life in the city. So that's where all dreams come true.